Hey guys, welcome to this adventure of Malibu and Dad. Guys, today we're in Ashland, and it's a beautiful area here in uh, Ashland, Virginia. Beautiful town, guys. Come with us as we check out a little bit of history today and just show you around. Come on. We're glad to share the places and the people that we'll meet. Think of the memories we'll have. Exploring hidden history, it's time to hop aboard On the road with Malibu and Dad On the road with Malibu and Dad So guys, if you were to get off the uh, train here in Ashland, Virginia you come to this train station. It's been here for years. But what's really cool, and I still think it's really neat, is right behind the train station is a really cool spot, guys. This is where we had brunch this morning. Now you and mom are walking around. But look at this little inn here, guys. Is that amazing or what? It's called the Henry Clay Inn. And uh, they got beautiful rooms and a fantastic brunch. Uh, we just had a great time this morning. So, uh, a very honorable mention. I love when history comes together and you can see little towns like this. And guys, Ashland was established in 1858, uh, just prior to the Civil War. I want to show you something. Right here, guys, the war years. It's amazing. In 1860, Ashland was a quiet, charming village. It's 150 residents lived in cottages on tree-lined streets, a fashionable hotel, a notable race course, and a famous Mineral Springs resort made Ashland a social center. Then came war in the summer of 1861. Hundreds of volunteers from across Virginia camped at the race course where they received their first military instruction during 1862. Homes and churches filled with battle casualties. More than 400 soldiers died in these makeshift hospitals. Union Raiders frequently ripped up railroad tracks and burned nearby bridges. So it's got a big Civil War history here, guys. And then in uh, May of 1863, the funeral train carrying General Thomas J. Stonewall Jackson's body stopped here on its way to Richmond. A year later, part of Lee's weary army marched southward along these tracks. One veteran recalled that they marched in such deep silence that a man with his eyes shut would only have known that anyone was on the road by an occasional rattle of a canteen. Places like the wilderness, uh, Spotsylvania, and North Anna lay behind them. Tapamoy Creek, Cold Harbor, Petersburg, and 10 more months of war laid ahead. So a very historical Civil War spot and uh, General Thomas J. Stonewall Jackson's body came through here. So what amazing history, guys. This quiet little town. And the railroad tracks run right through the town. That's what makes it so neat. It's just beautiful, beautiful day today. Thanks for coming along. Guys, here's the front doorway here. And she come in. Beautiful interior. Look at the staircase and the beater. It's beautiful inside. Fireplace going. Well, you guys can do brunch here at the inn. How pretty is that? Weather permitting. You can do lunch, breakfast, dinner, outside here at the Henry Clay. It's beautiful. I love these old southern porches. Nice view, and there's a college. All right, guys, so their entire downtown is right here at Trackside. And man, I'm telling you, it's a cute little town, guys. There's the Iron Horse. Got a lot of cool restaurants. Oh, 
How nice is that? I love the crossings here right across the tracks. They've got it built for you. How cool is that, guys? Ooh, look at that. The guys, they have this uh, really unique horse and boutique store. And look at all the different English riding saddles, guys. Isn't that beautiful? You usually don't see uh, stores like this. This one has a very nice array of saddles. Wow, very pretty. This particular one here, $1,200, man. That's beautiful. English saddle. And here's $3,000. SHR. Very unique store. 1200 bucks there for that saddle. They have all the tacking gear you'd need for your riding horse. It's a really cool shop. Love it. And they got a lot of neat stuff, guys. Got all the different riding hats. Cool shop. All the different riding gear. Pants, boots back there, you name it, they've got it all. Guys, I found this really cool. Tiny Tim's Trains and Toys. Look at this place, guys. That is so cool. I love it. All right, guys, so they had the Trains and Toys. I love this place. This is called... Uh, Origin and it's a beer lab. Teach you how to build your own craft beer right here. Give you full instructions. But the special note here also is 106 and a half. It's the Bell Book and Candle Store. How cute is that? Nestled between these two big buildings. Of course, mom was a big book girl. Oh, and a little guest house right to the right. Got a little red door. How cute with the uh. This town is just absolutely adorable. But I love this little bookstore, guys. And Malibu is hanging out. She's loving the town too, guys. Have to say hello to your fans. The guys, we stopped here at their public library, which is the Richard S. Gills Jr. Oh, well, we got a train coming through. Nothing cooler than uh, being in a railroad town with a train coming. There you go, guys. The Amtrak right through the center of town. 